make fun of our parents, right? Whenever you would go on a big vacation, our fathers would always lift up the, uh, the hood. You had to check the hoses, right? Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. It's that time of the year now. It's actually warming up. The snow is gone. So for many RVers, this is when you start getting like the spring fever, you're getting ready to get back out on the road, which is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So in this video, we're gonna talk about our maintenance checklist, what we do yearly, monthly, mm -hmm. and before every trip. <laughs> But before we get to that, this video is sponsored by Liquid Spring. Now, if you're looking for the very best suspension upgrade for your Class A Super C or C-Class motorhome, Liquid Spring is the absolute best. We have test driven two Class A motorhomes equipped with Liquid Spring, and it is absolutely awesome. Phenomenal. For our viewers and subscribers, use the code RIDE ENDLESSLY, and you can save up to $750 off a new Liquid Spring system. Now, if you are looking to get Liquid Spring right from the factory, like when you order your new motorhome, you can get that Tiffin offers it as well as Fleetwood and Holiday Rambler. They offered it from the factory. But if you don't want to do that, like MJ said, you can order it aftermarket and save some money. So if you're looking for the very best suspension upgrade, look no further than Liquid Spring. All right, so let's start with our yearly maintenance or what, you know, recommended you should be doing yearly. So you want to check your chassis, have it checked by a professional that includes brakes and your suspension and get greased, whatever we get greased. Now we usually do this at the end of the season. We mm -hmm. get it done like right before we're going to go into storage. I have it looked at and take care of whatever needs to be taken care of. The next thing you're going to look at, if you're so equipped with propane, make sure you get a propane leak check just to pressurize the system. Well, however they do it, just make sure you're not leaking propane. Yeah, that's never a good thing. Next thing is you want to check your seals on the exterior and reseal if necessary. So on your roof, on the sides, everywhere there's seals, check them and fix what is necessary. And then the last thing that we do once a year is we sanitize our fresh water system. And we actually did a video on that. We're gonna link that right up above. We're actually just about to do that yes. very soon. All right, so what do, or what should we do bi-yearly, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, what should we do and what do we actually do? <laughs> so you wanna weigh your RV at least twice a year because you tend to accumulate junk on these things. Mm -hmm. And the last thing you wanna be is overweight, right? So you wanna get it weighed how you travel. Like don't empty it out and go get it weighed to make right. yourself feel good. <laughs> and then fill it up. Well, yeah, weigh how you get travel. <laughs> so if you travel full with water, weigh it that way. So that way you know if you're overweight or not. Another thing you wanna do at least bi-yearly, but we do this way more often, is uh, wash and wax your RV because the more you wash and wax it, the better the paint or the gel coat's gonna look, the longer it's gonna last, and the more value it's gonna right. hold. And we have really good video on that, a good system. We'll link that above. And then the interior, you're gonna wanna do a deep cleaning. You know, this is all gonna be dependent how much you're in your RV. If you are full-timing, probably more than twice a year, but we clean regularly, but right before we store, we do a real deep cleaning, which we actually done videos on that also. Mm -hmm. Next one is to lubricate all your metals. So your hitches and your stairs and anywhere like that get them moving again make sure they're moving fluidly and then you want to check and change your fluids either do it yourself or have it done right your brake fluid transmission fluid all of that hydraulic fluid mm -hmm. pretty important mm -hmm. if you don't have hydraulic fluid your slide won't go out if it's hydraulic yeah. and your jacks won't go down right. or they won't work well mm -hmm. so you want to definitely check that all right so now we're going to talk about things you should be doing monthly obviously when not in storage but some of them apply mm -hmm. when you're in storage mm -hmm. also right. so the first thing you want to do and this is going to apply to a motorhome you want to drive it right like so the worst thing that can you do to like an rv or, or motorhome is not use it that's really bad so you want to drive it at least once a month the second thing is you want to run your generator now some people take pride in not using the generator i don't know why these things are pretty expensive and they come with a generator these generators are made to be used you should be using it at least two hours a month with half a load on it. In season, we run our generator. When we go down the road, mm -hmm. we run the generator. Why do we do that? Well, we run the air conditioner and we like to run whatever we have in there that only works with the generator. Plus we know that you need to exercise the generator. Right. When we're in storage, we will actually run it with a load at least once a month. Right, so Izzy comes out in the freezing cold yep. <laughs> and gets it going. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So the next thing you wanna do, and this is pretty important if you have you know, your flooded batteries, your lead acid batteries, you wanna make sure the water level Level is correct. Now we've done a video on this, but basically the standard batteries, the lead acid batteries, they have a fluid in them. And if it's too low, your batteries are not going to work right. So there's methods for doing this. You can freely find them online. Just make sure that they're topped off. So the next thing is you want to check your fire alarms, check your carbon monoxide detectors. And it's also a good time
time each month. Again, change the batteries if necessary. Yeah, we do that in the beginning of the season. We yes. uh, swap out all our batteries. Yep. Also, this is really important, is to make sure your fire extinguishers are working and also make sure you have enough fire extinguishers. We've discussed this before too. One fire extinguisher in an, in an RV is probably not enough. I mean, maybe if you have a tiny little teardrop, fine. But if you have a bigger RV, you're definitely going to want to have, how many do we have? We now? have five. Yeah. So you might be asking yourself, what, what do you mean check them? I don't mean like, she doesn't mean like shoot them. Like you don't want to do that. They have a shelf life. So you want to make sure that they're within their shelf life. You also kind of want to take them and shake them up a bit. Just make sure the pressure is full, that, you know, that they're functional, that you're able yep. to get to them, that you can get them out of the yep. holder, right. stuff like that. You want to also check under your hood. All right. Make sure that that every hose is attached correctly, nothing is leaking, all that's really important. We always make fun of our parents, right? Whenever you would go on a big vacation, our fathers would always lift up the uh, the hood. You had to check the hoses, right? Yeah, you're looking but for- it's true. You're looking for cracks, you're mm -hmm. looking for signs of rodents because they like to eat those things. Right. You're looking if you see any liquid coming out. These are all things you want to get taken care of before you get like stranded on the side of the road. Right. Now the next one is uh, kind of important. So one, at least once a year, we actually, well, I'll take the covers off the AC units on the roof and I clean them. I clean all the, the condenser and then the fins in there, get any crap out of there. But what you, we do monthly is there's filters inside and that's very important for the health of your AC. You wanna clean those filters out. Right, you wanna check for cracks anywhere or any type of openings that little rodents can get in and fix those because the last thing you want is rodents in your RV chewing your wires and destroying your whole rig. The, actually, the best way to do that is turn on all the lights inside your mm -hmm. RV at night. And then if you can see light, light coming, then no right. good. You want to fill yep. that gap. Absolutely. And we did a video on mice and how to keep them off. This is definitely number one to do that. And then another thing you want to do monthly is you want to, if you have slides, you want to check the rubber seals around your slides. Just make sure that they're like not broken. Mm -hmm. And also you want to kind of uh, condition them a couple of times a year. You know, they, mm -hmm. they sell like the slide seal conditioner. It's just because the UV rays kind of eat up at that. And that's what's keeping the water outside from going inside your RV. So pretty important if you have slides. And we did a video talking about slides versus no slides. We will link that one above also. All right, now the next section is before each trip. So most of the big stuff has been done monthly, yearly, all of that. So now before each trip, there's a couple of things you wanna check. Number one is your tires is so critical. I mean, we check them a lot, all right? So before you head out, you're gonna be looking at each tire for any, you know, look at the tread, make sure that's in good shape. You're looking for crack and things like that. And again, we had a lot of questions too about tire covers. Do you really need tire mm -hmm. covers? Yes, because that is protecting all of this stuff we're talking about. So check for those. You also big time want to check your pressure or invest in a good tire pressure monitor, which we also did a video on and we'll link that above. We use the tire minder. It is so good for peace of mind, but without good tires, you're, you're pretty much screwed. We'll link the, uh, we're actually affiliated with tire minder. Yep. So we'll, we will yeah. link uh, our link below and you get 20 bucks off Yeah, and it's the cheapest out there, even cheaper than Amazon. Right. But it's definitely worth it. Okay. Next thing, pretty important. You're going to want to check your headlights, high, low, beam, turn signals, your horn, your wipers. You don't want to get stuck in the rain and your yeah. wipers don't work. Even more so, you have crappy wiper blades, like they're just not cleaning right. Yeah. So make sure you clean those things, make sure they're working well. You want to check your tail lights. Just make sure all your lights are working, okay? There's a lot of lights on a motorhome. Also, you want to check the roof for debris. Now, this is pretty relevant if you're staying at, for an extended stay somewhere. Things fall on your roof. You, you don't want that stuff rolling around, tearing something. Just go up there. We actually, before we leave a campground, I just go up there, quickly sweep everything. It takes five minutes. And you blow it too. Use the yeah. leaf blower a lot. Just, or time. leaf blower. They have yeah. those, you know, battery operated right. leaf blowers. It, it literally takes five mm -hmm. minutes and that way you don't have crap, you know, flying people behind you. Right. So this was just a quick overview of what we do now. There's other things we do, you know, furnace and hot water heated. Listen, this video could be like eight <laughs> hours long, right? Because it just doesn't stop. But we just try to wrap it up as quickly as possible. Right, so in the comments below, put what you do yearly, monthly, whatever. What are things that we didn't do or didn't say that you do to your RV? And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.